You're excited to see the ghost tonight, right? The Colonel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm totally like, that's totally what I'm in this for. Mm hmm. <laughs> Excited to stay mm -hmm. here at the Glen Ferris Inn. It's been around since 1839. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're excited to see the ghost tonight, right? The Colonel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm totally like, that's totally what I'm in this for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what a cool, cool place. I think you gotta keep going upstairs, honey. This is neat. Nice little sitting area. That's 
very cool. Now we haven't seen the kernel yet. Good view here of the river. So look at that. Wow. How pretty. This is nice. Big closet. Closet. Now the bathroom is actually really nice. It's big. We got all kind of fans in here. But this is a nice bathroom. It's very uh, vintage. Very cool, but neat. It is neat. Very clean too, by the way. Let me turn these fans off. Cute little table. It is a cute little table. <laughs> and you got your chair in case the colonel shows up over there. He'll be sitting in that chair right there. Oh. So, there's a lot of history in the Glen Ferris Inn. And, uh, Obviously, since 1839, there's been a couple of presidents that have stayed here. Maybe a, a step ladder to get up on this. <laughs> so we have another Tina here. My, obviously, everybody knows that Tina is okay. Tina, but we have another Tina here. Hey! And Tina has been telling us some stories about the Colonel and then also of a little girl that she had a little encounter with. So. She's gonna, she doesn't want to really want to be on camera, but she said she'd, she's gonna try, okay? But I think she'll be just fine. The little girl was supposed to be the colonel's daughter, and he had a son too that lived here. And I was in the inside dining room, mm -hmm. and I was dusting the big buffet in there, and there wasn't anybody else here. And I heard a little girl say, hello there. And I turned around and there was nobody here. And a couple weeks later, I asked our manager, uh, her name was Jennifer, and I said, Jennifer, I need to ask you something. Please don't think I'm crazy. And she said, what? And I told her and she said, oh my gosh, I heard the same little girl. Oh my God. And then, we had used to have a chess and checker set right out here where this couch is mm -hmm. and you could hear those kids out there playing they were just having a good time but you went to look and there was nobody there oh my goodness yes and then the colonel mm -hmm. he showed up in a, a, a woman and man's room in room 102 and the woman didn't believe in any of this, and but her husband did. He was open-minded about mm -hmm. it. And well, that night they went to sleep, and she, I think she said she, he woke her up when he was in the room, mm -hmm. and she turned over, and there he was in his attire yeah. Yeah. yeah and uh said he had a, a long white beard and he had his hat on wow. and she said that um she woke her husband up and she said as she was waking him up the colonel actually walked through the door yes oh my god 
Yes. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yes. So, so we're going to hope we don't see the colonel. Uh, but thank you, Tina, for what? Or maybe Walt does want to see the colonel. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a few things, but... Uh, but thank you so much, You're Tina, very for welcome. Us thank you that. all for stopping by. Right. We yeah. love this place. is is awesome. It's already exciting. Yeah. It, is. <laughs> it is. I walked into the dining room to get some video clips. When I got home, I heard this voice on one of the clips of a little girl saying, "Hey, hey, boy, or you're a boy, or something." Listen. Low. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, that's the original kitchen right here. Yes. Wow. Cool. Hello, you're on camera. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> You'll be famous now. <laughs> and then that, which is our bakery, oh, nice. um, was part of their kitchen. And they built the new kitchen on. This is the original kitchen. Yes. Because you can see the brick. That's so neat. Very nice. Eight. That kitchen was from 1839, right? Wow. Pretty amazing. And that's the, I guess they've added on since because yeah, it's the, huge operation. Yeah. That's our kitchen now. Wow. Thank you, Tina. You're welcome. <laughs> Everybody like this place. All right, so see, I think I can show you one other, everything I'm thinking, let somebody check. This is room 102, which is where the Colonel was reportedly <laughs> showing up. Those rolls look good, don't they? They're very soft. <laughs> what do you have, honey? I have crab cakes and coleslaw and a side salad that I've already indulged on. Um, and... 
this is, I don't know if they have a name not for it, but it's uh, basically ground round with potatoes, tomatoes, marinara sauce. That looks so good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. so. I was going to do that. So we're back in our room at the Glen Ferris Inn and I'm sipping on some uh, Jesse James American honey. It's actually really tasty. So thing about the Glenn Ferris, I, I, I got to do some research on who the heck Glenn Ferris is. So, the Glenn Ferris Inn, which obviously must have been named after Glenn Ferris, but I don't know. But it went under a lot of different names. And they think that it was actually built maybe in 1815, was a residence. Uh, but then in, uh, but, but even as residents, they hosted travelers in the home. But in 1839, they got a permit to do, uh, open up like a store and a restaurant and, uh, and an inn. So that, that was 1839. So it's been in operation pretty much since 1839 and even when it wasn't in operation it still hosted people uh when it was a residence for a short period of time people would still they would still host residents but it, what's pretty cool is that there were four presidents that stayed here andrew jackson rutherford b hayes uh william mckinley and john tyler so that's pretty cool that Four presidents have stayed here. Also, George Rogers Clark stayed here. And Henry Clay, who was a secretary of state. And they said that they Henry Clay actually stayed here so much that they had a room for a while named the Henry Clay Room. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, of course, we don't know how the colonel got here, but... Uh, they think during the Civil War um, that it served as a hospital for Union and Confederate soldiers for a short period of time. And uh, so that that's pretty cool and uh, rich in history. Uh, the people, uh, the Hill family bought this back in 1996 and they had it for years sold it to another family in 2016 but they bought it back in 2018 and they're making more uh, renovations to the place so the restaurant is really good the rooms are very really cool and nice and you can't beat the view sitting here in the room so we've had a really good time been a busy day and Tina's like She's, I don't even know what time it is, but it's early, but she is ready to go laying on the couch. The bed. The couch, yeah, the bed. There is no couch in here. It's comfy. Uh, so anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. You want to support me, go to patreon.com. Look for the frontiersman adventures uh and i'm on there so um appreciate your support y'all have a great day